Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some bolder opal inspired resin coasters. And I'm going to be using these chameleon flakes from Let's Resin. They sent me these to try out and they have some really gorgeous colors in this set. The pack comes with eight different colors and an applicator brush. So I'll be sure to link this down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, just wait and see, the coasters turned out so pretty. We're gonna be using three different colors today and um, we're gonna jump in and get started. I was having such a hard time picking which colors to use. Um, and when you use these chameleon flakes with a colored resin or a tinted resin, it's gonna make them appear differently. Each bottle has this white kind of seal on it. So it'll actually give you a good idea of how these will look with a white tinted resin. And then of course, you know, if you use a black or a darker tinted resin, they'll really, really pop um, in terms of chameleon effect. On these coasters, I'm gonna be using the pink olive. And I was just trying to go, you know, really carefully and paint them in my mold, but it was taking forever. So I just decided to pour some into my mold. Um, and then also I had my heater on and I didn't even realize that. So they started blowing everywhere. So just be careful when you guys use these. Make sure you're wearing your mask um, because they do kind of puff up in the air and you don't want to breathe these in. Um, there's a lot of really fine particles in there. So what I ended up doing was just kind of pouring some in the center and then tilting my mold around and they really stick nicely to the mold. So then I went in with the brush and just kind of pushed the flakes down and we're just going to be using clear resin on the coasters. I went ahead and painted um, these two business card holders with these colors here. This one is the gold olive and then the other one I used uh, aqua or violet aqua but this um, gold olive is so pretty. I'm excited to use these some more. They're really really fun to use and they give you a really pretty kind of opalescent look. And this one here is the Violet Aqua. My plan was to pour this one with black tinted resin and then the other one with white tinted resin, um, but I made some miscalculations. So I ended up just filling them both up with white tinted resin and we'll demold them here at the end of the video and I'll show you how they turned out. And this pink olive is the one that I used in the coasters. You can see how pretty and opalescent they are. I saw a picture on, I can't remember if it was on Instagram, it must have been Instagram, of a boulder opal. And I just got so inspired by it, so I thought I need to make some coasters like this. So I'm going in with just clear resin. This is the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy, and I'm filling up my molds. These coaster molds are from Dryer Days Art Studio. They take about three ounces each to fill up. I'll link them down below along with my coupon code. And um, that's pretty much it. Super easy for this step. I went in with my silicone paintbrush and scooped out any bubbles. And here we are the next day ready to demold them. I did not hit these with my heat gun um, because I filled the molds all the way to the rim and I was scared if I went in with my heat gun to pop bubbles that the resin would overflow out of the mold so I just carefully went in with one of those silicone paint brushes and scooped out any bubbles and you can really see bubbles easily when you're using clear resin so it was pretty easy to do and we're also going to be doing some artwork on this little round I made this is decadence glitter from dryer days art studio super pretty i just decided to do some artwork on this as well since i was already doing it on the coasters so this is my total boat tabletop epoxy you can see it's got bubbles and um, that's pretty typical with tabletop epoxies they are thicker in viscosity so they have more bubbles but don't worry we are going to pop those all when we go in with the heat gun and the torch and this is egyptian gold mica powder from island micas and more I added just about three little scoops on the end of my stick and this is one ounce of resin. You can see the mica just really melts right into it. Gave that a good mix and here we are ready to roll. I added one ounce of clear on top of each of my coasters here 
and I added about a half an ounce on this little round. I did paint the back of these with liquid latex and let that dry before I went in and did my artwork. Um, that's a good alternative to tape because the shape is kind of awkward, so these would be kind of hard to tape, for me anyway. So I like to use liquid latex instead of tape, and I have a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to do that. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. It takes about anywhere from 6 to 12 hours to dry, and then you can go in and do your artwork. So I'm just going in and drawing some lines with that gold. I was trying to get some fun lines going across them and then of course around the perimeter of each of the pieces. And I am working over aluminum foil because I am gonna be using my torch. And I have started fires with my torch before. So I like to work over aluminum foil when I know I'm going to be using my torch because it's not super flammable. So always please make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy when you guys are using torches and anything um, that's flammable. So I just went in with one pass of the torch. And you can see it really kind of fanned out that gold. I'm going to leave the round as it is, this little round here, but I am going to go in and add a little bit more gold and use my heat gun on the coasters. I just wanted to blend the lines of gold out a little bit more, and that's what your heat gun is good for. Your heat gun is good for heating up and moving around the resin. Um, the torch doesn't really do that. It's good at kind of just pinpointing direct heat in one spot, but your heat gun is really going to move that gold around. And I was pretty happy with how they were looking, so I'm just adding a little bit more gold. I'm going to hit it with my torch one more time, just in that spot where I added some gold. And I'm going to take the rest of my gold and just go around the perimeter of each of the coasters. I wanted it to look really gold around the edge, so I'm taking my finger, dipping it in the runoff, and just applying that gold to the rims of the coasters. And that's pretty much it. Here's how they're looking. Got some really pretty cells in there. And I just love these colors together. Those chameleon flakes are just gorgeous with the gold. I'm gonna leave these as they are. I did want to leave this round as it was um, so I could show you guys the difference between just using your torch um, as opposed to using your heat gun as well. And here we are the next day ready to demold them. This is the little business card holder that we did with the gold olive flakes. And you guys are gonna get a laugh in a second. These are actually kind of hard to demold. I think it's because they're so deep, I'm not really sure, but it almost flew out of my hand right here, but I caught it and there was no harm done. I caught it and it, we were good to go. But check out how pretty that is. I just love how color shifting the flakes are um, and you'll really get that color shifting effect when you fill your molds with a tinted resin. Um, like I said I used white on these and for these I actually ended up pouring them in two layers and I used the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy on these and this one I was going to do um, black but I ended up miscalculating how much resin I mixed up so I just filled it in with white and then um, I did do a little bit of a dark blue backing on these just because one day when I was pouring I had a little bit of blue left over so I just poured it in the mold before we demolded them. And here's how the coasters turned out. So pretty. And I apologize for the glare, um, but you know, resin is just like a mirror. So you can see my window right there. But um, hopefully, you guys get the picture of how pretty these turned out. Uh, I promise they're a hundred times prettier in person. The camera just does not do them justice. But if you guys have never seen a Boulder Opal before, um, definitely try to Google it. I was going to put a picture in the video, but I didn't know if I could or if I should because of copyright and stuff like that. So I didn't include a picture um, in the video, but they're really pretty. They've got like a bronze kind of veining going over them just like these. And they just look like opals underneath um, the spots that you can see through on the stone. Super, super pretty. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments. Um, I'm excited to use these chameleon flakes some more. They're really, really pretty to use. And here's how the little round turned out. You can see the difference in the lacing 
um, on this one. Remember, we just used the torch on this. I didn't use the heat gun at all on this one. It's got some really, really fine lacing. Still super pretty, and that decadence glitter is just gorgeous, gorgeous, super sparkly. And as always, you guys, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box, along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you guys want to get any of these products to try, you can get a little bit of a discount. And these little business card holders, I like to attach a little crystal on top. I think I'm going to go with the big one on this guy. I'll just take a little bit of clear resin, sand the spot where I'm going to attach it, and uh, attach it with a little bit of clear resin, and then it'll be good to go. These molds came from Amazon, and they were marketed as a cell phone stand, but my cell phone does not fit in that tiny little hole. Um, or the tiny little area. It does fit without the case, but not with the case. So these are definitely more like business card holders. If you guys want the link for this mold, let me know and I can link it down below in the comments. But it came in the pack of two. Um, but I thought, oh, that would be a really cool cell phone stand, but the cell phone does not fit in them. But they will make great business card holders. So I just, I'll just use them for that. But let me know what you guys think of these. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.